the commercial aspect of movies and especially the Hindi movie cinema known often as Bollywood. And the trigger really is a tweet today by um, a well-known film critic called Komal Nahata who pointed out how Shamshera, that's the big blockbuster release of the week, uh, just released yesterday, how some afternoon shows, according to him, had to be cancelled because there was no audience. Now, this is a movie starring Sanjay Dutt, Ranbir Kapoor, big names. And this is not restricted to just Shamshera. It's been over eight months since movie cinemas reopened in India after lockdowns. But months later, it seems like Bollywood films are still struggling to leave a mark at the box office. In the last few weeks, several big budget films uh, and their shows were cancelled. Some shows were cancelled on theatres on account of um, no audience or very few audiences. And as I said, Chamshera seems to be the latest among them. But what's the picture? Why is this happening? Because there seems to be a different theme when it comes to pan-Indian movies or um, movies made in the southern part of India. They are getting a good response. Is it the OTT impact? Is it because uh, viewers are discovering new kind of content or um, is it because now Bollywood movies and big movies are working to a formula rather than content? To uh, get some more perspective on this, I'm joined by Ali Murtaza, who's a film critic. Ali, hi. Great to have you on the show. Just first your take on, you know, this trend that we're seeing and on Shamshera, etc. Because these are reports that we're quoting, right? That some of the shows were cancelled. Are we seeing this more and more over the last few releases? See, uh, there are several factors that you have to take into play. Uh, but first and foremost, you have to understand that content is the ultimate driver. Now, if anything that we have learned over the last two years, especially, you know, at the height of the pandemic, is that content is really the king. And when I speak of content, I don't just mean the movie. It starts from the trailer stage. So, you know, if the trailer is not sorted, if right from the first go, the impression is not cast, then it's inevitable that the movie will suffer this kind of fate. The thing with Shamshera's trailer was that, you know, somewhere a lot of us, you know, critics and a lot of the viewers, they sense it somewhere that it's nothing but a pastiche of, you know, some of the older films that we have been watching. Bachchan Sahab, you know, have done so much of this kind of stuff back in the 70s. A lot of South Indian films have been doing something on no, the similar Ali, lines. It seems a little harsh to decide not to see a movie because the trailer may be subpar. Is that it? A lousy trailer? That is that is the most important factor, if you ask me, right now, because that is when you get the first hold of something. And when the trailer is not done well, if the trailer gives you this sense of impression that it's a pastiche, it's something that they are trying to recreate, it's something that they are trying to recreate from the old Bachchan Sahab phenomena, the angry young man, or if they are trying to imitate, you know, uh, South or maybe Hollywood, then it's a total no, no, no. And that's what Samshera, you know, suffered right from the word go. And now, uh, even though, you know, that uh, the first day is bad, there's still hope if the word of mouth does wonders, if the people who are going to the theatres, if somehow they feel that the film is good, and if they are able to spread this word of mouth, then, you know, that is the only hope left. No, but, you know, film. I don't want to hate on Shamshera. And this whole story and this discussion is not just about Shamshera. Shamshera, you, like you're saying, may pick up. But look at all of the releases and many of the releases over the last few days. Big names, Prithviraj, Samrat, etc., etc. Why are people not going into the theatres? I mean, it would be incorrect to say that the COVID effect is still, no, you know, no. there and it's a hangover because you look at the uh, malls, course, you no. look at the airlines, you look at the, See, the great uh, restaurants, they're all the full. Great irony, the great irony is that the Sanjay, that Sanjay Dutt is the common factor between KGF and Shamshera. And the same Sanjay Dutt is able to pull audiences to the theatres when he's doing a KGF too. And the same Sanjay Dutt here is not able to do that. So clearly it has nothing to do with, you know, COVID or pandemic. It has more to do with, you know, this larger picture that I'm trying to portray, of which content is a very important part of. But you also have to understand that another issue is into play now. And you mentioned OTT. Let me elaborate a little. Now, what has happened is that a lot of these producers, they are now entering deals, you know, with OTT content providers. Now, what happens is that they say, okay, we'll give you a run after two weeks of theatrical run. We'll give you a clear run after three weeks of theatrical run. So that means that after just two weeks of theatrical run, the film is out on OTT. They enter these exclusive deals even before a film is released. This comes out on the OTT that, okay, from two weeks from now, this film will be out on Netflix. This film will be out on Amazon, say, three weeks from now. So the audiences are also very smart. They say that, okay, I'm paying 500 rupees for my Netflix.
subscription so that means that by the end of next two weeks or maybe by the third week i'll get this film on but, my you know OTT but again but you know you know what there. doesn't what doesn't explain then we just show the poster and collections of bhul bhulaiya too that also eventually came on ott people still went to watch it so that's what Movies i'm saying like trying Pushpa, to project this RRR. bigger picture there's a see, there's see, a different story start. there See, you have to see the whole perspective. One, as I said, trailer that is the real deal breaker. Mm. So, if you look at Bhool Bhulaiya, you know it has a certain following. Bhool Bhulaiya one was a huge hit. So, there is this cult following of Bhool Bhulaiya. Plus, the trailer added to that mystique, and that's why people, you know, went ahead. And then the word of mouth did wonders. Similarly, with KGF two, and in case of Pushpa, you know, the the trailer really did the wonders, and that. Uh, was added up by the word of mouth but in this case what has happened in, in prithviraj king right from the word go everybody said it. it's a bad trailer oh akshay is not looking the part oh his mustache is you know looking fake so all these things because we are li living in a world okay. where there is a just, yeah, just this big story this big you know question when it comes to content where uh, pan indian movies movies made in the south of india are doing phenomenally well their hindi dubbed versions are doing phenomenally well is it also indicating that the audience which has been fed heavily on a diet of ott content has now discovered different languages as content has become more picky the same formula the same kind of script the same you know scenic locations is not going to work anymore and maybe the biggest producers in bollywood have not picked up on that yet they don't want to take the risk uh, let me also bring you to another factor which i think akshay kumar brilliantly pointed out yesterday in that episode of uh, recently in that episode of coffee with karan and he says that today if i want to make a multi starer then the bollywood heroes i'm saying the male heroes so to say they have such big egos that they don't want to you know do multi starers feel insecure they say no i only want to do a solo thing so they are okay with maybe you know having sanjay dat as a villain but they would not have you know two maybe say a ranveer and a Ran ranveer doing it or maybe a shahid or a ranveer doing it or it's like getting a little more difficult to bring two big you know bollywood a listers together in a film if you look at south they are always open to doing multi stars you look at rrr you look at bahubali you know you i saw that comment what you're talking about but I, i'm not so sure if that's the only reason You have to as have I a script. Said, as I you said, have you have to have a plan. You have to look at the bigger picture that I'm trying. See, see, I, you have to look at the bigger picture that I'm trying to portray. Hmm. There's no one factor in play. There are several factors in play, and there are a lot of ifs and buts. What do you buts. think needs to and be done, Murtaza? As someone who's a film critic, lives and breathes the movies, uh, frankly, much more than I do. What do you think needs to be done? And are you disappointed by what you're seeing? What would you hope to see as a viewer soon? See, uh, Lee, see, the writing on the wall is clear. Look at the kind of. comments that are coming in and i'm talking about you know senior critics somebody says it's thugs of hindustan level bad somebody says it's a pastiche of you know old big b of the 70s somebody is saying oh watch it with your uh, you know earphones plugged off so these are the kind of comments you are getting so that clearly means that somewhere we are you know lagging in terms of content in a big way a serious thought needs to be given because right now bollywood has to throw this mindset that oh we are the apex predator oh we are the you know the industry that everybody looks up to no 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 you are no longer that you are far far lagging behind the industries down south they have completely destroyed you left right and center as we have seen and you are going to see worse of it and it will keep on getting worse until you realize that there is something wrong without the realization that there is something wrong nothing is going to come out of it if they continue to feel that okay something will happen and they will be able to regain their audiences then they are living in you know a fanciful space they have to give themselves you know, Uh, an eye opener it has to you know they have to shake themselves from the within that is the only way forward absolutely uh, just uh, last point from you on um, what do you think are the big movies next which will strike uh, strike it hot and which are the ones which could fall by the wayside and does it all really come down to that all important trailer and social media buzz etc see you know the thing is that uh, because of what we have seen with shamshira as we are seeing shows being cancelled a lot of the bollywood producers are again getting a little scared mm. they are getting a little jittery so i'm not sure whether they'll actually be going ahead with the release plans in place 
but i am really really hopeful that lal singh chadda and raksha bandar are going to be the big game changers the way i look at it now and both are releasing in august that's going to be the independence day time that is really you know it all boils down to yep. if lal singh chadda and raksha bandar if these two films if they top at the box office then it's going to be very very but very very but what does it depend on whether they're good movies or not maybe it's time of the course, industry of course, of course, stops of taking course, viewers for granted important. just because you're sticking a few important. stars and a few songs it's not going to be enough anyway thank you so it's much it's not going to be enough thank you so much ali murtaza for joining us uh, as we wrap up uh, this week